Welcome back. Approximately 15 million Americans have food allergies. Peanut allergies are the most common, with more than 3 million people affected by peanut allergies. About half of those people are children. An allergy to peanuts can cause some unpleasant and potentially deadly side effects. Immune Therapeutics is seeking to help children affected by peanut allergies with a new medicine, and we are all over it this morning. Joining me right now is Immune President and CEO, Dr. Jason Dallas. Dr. Dallas, it's good to have you on the program this morning. Good morning, Maria. Thank, Thank you, you so for much the for joining us. And, and you know, we were just talking in the commercial break. You were fortunate enough to get this medicine to the FDA before the government shutdown. Correct. We managed to get our uh, submission into the FDA on Friday, December 21st, which was the day before the government shut down. Uh, and FDA have said that anything that they get prior to that date, they will continue to review. So we're, we're very excited about that. Tell me, now, there are vaccinations on the market, I guess. Tell me how this immunotherapy works. Because so yours is not a vaccination. It's not a vaccination. And for, for food allergy, in fact, there isn't really anything available, right? Unfortunately, the discussion you have with your physician if you have food allergy today is try to avoid the food and here's an EpiPen and if something happens, use your EpiPen, right? So it's kind of astounding that we're in 2019 and really there isn't any solution for food allergy, You're right? You're right, it is. And so this is an approach that has been around for a very long time. The concept of challenging the body with ever-increasing doses of the thing you're allergic to so that something that was foreign becomes friendly to the body, if it's you like. It's sort of like a flu shot. More like an allergy shot. So, okay. you know, folks get shots for grass and pollen allergies and for cats and dogs and all that kind of, kind of thing, right? And those traditionally are shots. This is food. Food allergy comes from the gut. The gut's an important part of the immune system, and the gut's what creates this allergy in the first place. So very similar idea, but here what you're doing is you're actually ingesting, you're swallowing a small dose of peanut, and that dose increases over time until you get to a point where the body recognizes this as something it shouldn't reject. And that gives you the protection from accidental exposure to peanut in the real world. Now, peanut allergies can be for your life, right? I mean, these, these, this Correct. could be lifetime. Correct. In fact, 80% of folks do not outgrow peanut allergy. It's, it's, it's the one food allergy that most folks don't outgrow. Most of the other food allergies are the other way around. You tend to have it when you're a kid and you outgrow it as you get older. And, and we should say that a portion of the people who have these allergies are, will, will find themselves in the emergency room. Absolutely. In fact, there's some data that was published earlier, uh, just towards the end of last year, suggesting that 25% of folks who have peanut allergy who are actively trying to prevent getting any exposure whatsoever to peanut end up in the emergency room every year. What's the price of this? So we're a ways away from launching, right? So we're, we're not really um, in a place where we're figuring that out yet. However, we would not be a great company if we developed something that was essentially going to rewrite medical textbooks and didn't make it accessible to the patients who need it, right? So access is key for us, and we'll make certain that when we launch this, we can get it to the patients who need it. Tell me about the timing. I mean, you were lucky to get the filing and all of that in before the government shutdown. Correct. But when would you expect this to come to market? Correct. So we, we managed to get our file in just before FDA shut down, and they have said that stuff that went in before they shut down, they will continue to review. That being said, it's unclear exactly how that's going to impact their timelines. Under a normal circumstance, we would be bringing this to market about the third quarter, just after the summer of this year. Oh, wow. That's, that's quick. So that's pretty quick, and it's really exciting to have a real solution in the market. It really is. Have you gotten a lot of response from people? We have. There's a massive amount of excitement about this. Like I said, this is potentially rewriting medical textbooks, right? This is a big problem. It's been around for a very long time, and actually having something that works out there is really exciting. It really is, and we'll be watching that. Great to see you, Dr. Jason Dallas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Maria. Best of luck with it. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people I know have those peanut allergies. Dr. Jason Dallas there.